Hello friends, welcome back. In this uh, quick demonstration, we're just going to be focusing on finding ways to predict where the market is going after it has made all time highs or lows. If you have been tracking uh, the YouTube videos, we had this low predicted from March, we had this high predicted. Also, we noted that market should be closing around 47, 46.50 area. And I think we are there now. It's almost end of the year. Hoping, I don't think it's going to crash. So what's going on here is if you do not see the trend or unable to see what is going on in the market clearly on your frequency which is your trading chart frequency you should always go to weekly charts monthly charts daily charts weekly charts are very strong weekly charts if you put on your trend lines if you put on your simple moving averages 33 period 9 period you can see uh, things are much clear in level 2 we have a lot more sophisticated tools if you recall if you have not seen it you should watch it uh, I think we did some Mandela analysis here to come with the idea of where market is going to go so now that Mandela we have been demonstrating to you on intraday basis on an hourly chart or 30 minutes chart or 15 minutes chart it does not mean that we are limited to that so once you understand the principles what's going on these are applicable on all time frames this is weekly chart so there is a squaring principles banking bar principles replication banking bar principles which are covered which exactly tells you where market is going to go what's going on in the turn so what we are doing is we have to first initially inspect why did i choose march time frame to predict this because i look at, at this big dna bar and what is a dna bar is discussed separately in the module one but it is think about it as a very big visually very big bar and we manipulate that bar to make all kinds of predictions and this bar can be squared using lots of principles so weekly charts is something you can use as an anchor chart so let's uh, bring our mandela level to tool and what we are going to do is we're going to test it and see by putting it on this bar and some big bars here and big bars here what is going on so it says single bar mandela it doesn't say five minute mandela right a single bar all right so we should get creative about how to use it so i just told you i'm going to put it on this big chart at the time i was not demonstrating you this tool and there it is market went to this range went to the top of the range and came down now this is a, a range this could be too big for you to manage but this is what is telling us that reversal zone we are in the reversal zone does not mean that you just blindly take it when we use this on a intraday basis on a 15 minutes and 30 minutes charts we also have some polarity lines and other balance imbalanced ideas to qualify this level but the single bar predicted that this is the range and we went to the top of the range and we came down All right. So coming down, this looks like uh, another big bar we can rely on. 
big bar. So this is same as this bar. I just put it here. It is giving me an idea again that this is the range where it will reverse. And if you have been following the 36 rank of chart, this was also our reflection point posted months in advance that market is going to reverse from here and it did. Now, based on the same principle, this is a very big bar. We will relocate this on a weekly chart and this is where we are. We are in a reversal zone. It, there's nothing stopping it to go all the way to the top either. So what we have to do is now use some other principles to figure out that that confirmation of downtrend has started or is going to continue to go to the top here. And this is where there's nothing stopping us to use this DNA bar as a banking bar, which is going to track the trend. So this is the trend bar to be broken. And it, there's no evidence that we are not even seeing a single weekly red bar, not a, a single weekly red bar. All right. Let's uh, now add another indicator here. Let's uh, bring this multi-square bar L2 tool here. Again, we are still sticking on a weekly chart. And what this is doing is it is squaring and using the square and circle mathematics and Gans laws of squaring. It is squaring this bar. Now, what is missing is a triangle on the top because that are the edges. So there's a high probability that market is going somewhere here. Okay. this is where you can use your mandala projections i just showed you and this and this is where we think market will see what happens here we need to see some evidence of sellers showing up but first of all you need to understand the zones we can also apply our reflection point which we have been using to predict all the stock movements so we can apply that here as well on weekly chart and we can we will use the C54 projections and it has a uh, numbers which are uh, synthetic numbers here, but let me change that to, uh, I can't show you those numbers. Okay. When the tool is activated, all we have to look at is the trend line. You think this is a good trend line? Looks like it, right? This is a good trend line. So what we're going to use is we are going to use this trend line. Again, remember we are on a weekly chart, one click, two click. And what we do is we use the third projections here. So A, B and C, one, two becomes the trend line, third becomes the projected point. You can see everything is pointing to the same area. And if I have to project it from here, let's see how far it goes. It can go even much higher. So what I do is I'm just doing my analysis. And I'm going to just put it here and say, hey, okay, this is one area. And if I do it from here, this is my second area. The main point is, if you're not clear on a lower time frame, you go to a high time frame. So now if you use a couple of tools together, what you have, you have a confluence of the natural sciences telling us where the market is naturally trying to flow. So I'll keep this here. And second tool we are saying is going to be in the same area, roughly showing up here. So we'll mark that also. And next we will go to the first tool we use called Mandala. And there it is, same chart. 
and is pointing to this area. So this looks like a lot of cluster is coming up in this area, right? So let the market go here and see what happens. If there's not a single weekly bar, down bar, it'll gonna continue to the high dimension, which is right here, right? So this is how you can check and make some hypothesis around it. We also discussed If you just simply look at here without going to Renko bars, the impulses, right? Impulses. If you look at the impulses here, so seem like on a weekly chart, the multi month impulses are of the same ranges, right? And if you see here, these impulses are almost the half the range, 50% of what GAN was talking about all the time. If you see here, so these impulses which were very strong in a downtrend year is not really doing much on, it is going to 50%, 50%. It is telling us that the downward impulses are not operating in this frequency has shifted in 2023 because the downward impulses which were average impulses are now going at 50 percent only which means that there's a strength in the market we can also have impulses here on the uptrend so this is what major move is all about we can just see it where market is going we can see that easily right market natural frequencies there are so many ways to find frequencies but natural frequencies market is playing this frequency we carried over from the previous year and frequencies will shift so you can see you can easily pick the tops and the bottoms once you find the right frequency if you go from here you can see it came down here so if we just keep the same frequency up frequency you can see it is also coming down to the same area now this can be a new impulse as well so let's take that impulse and let's assume this is a new impulse they want to travel on this impulse this is where we need what we call as a banking bar on a daily and a weekly and four hour and one hour to qualify in this uh reversal principle so from the bottom if you go here it is pointing to the top so this is the range it looks like everything is pointing to this uh, zone it does not mean this is again um, in this market we are dealing with probability space we are not dealing with absolutes because if you can guarantee one single trade with 100% you can put all the money in one single trade which you have 100% guarantee on, right? That's all there is to it. Put a billion dollars and you, you're done. It doesn't work that way. This is a probability space. So learn the laws of nature and laws of market movement. And I think you'll be better off served uh, following this. Now these, at least people who cannot invest in this uh, sophisticated knowledge and the tools, this is simple way for you to freely benefit from this market movement. Uh, I think we have discussed many times uh, how to create this uh, impulses. You can also look in the videos which talks about VWAP and the impulses created from the VWAP. But this is on a weekly chart. You can do the same thing on daily chart as you can see. So if you are a long term trader, you have to wait long. You have to wait three, four, five months before you take and you hold it for three, four months. So the, so the first evidence came to us when this impulse stopped working is when it did not reach its objective. Does not mean we would have kept it here and we always keep 50% and see, okay, if this is the full impulse, half impulse is here and it happened once and twice, which has, should have given us right there 
an indication that market is not willing to go down anymore coming from a major low as well and then we impulsed it on the other side which I just showed you Mandala also came here so now this is where you have to start becoming smart putting it here it went here okay great but we also had this impulse I'm, I'm not even going back to check right so this is impulse was already telling us this market is going somewhere here so you, this is how you can put together your DNA frequency impulses and going to new territory this is what you do and there are other tools which are just there are a lot of tools here there's 16 tools which can project prices I just showed you three of them there's laws of nature I think Gant spent 50 years of his life uh, identifying these laws now these laws are now put in a box and we have taken these laws to the next level but again it's not for everybody because they're not cheap and and you can see the reason why all right thank you very much uh, hope for uh, a good trading but keep your impulses keep your measurements going thank you so much